Hello students, welcome back to my new video of class 12 BGS Mathematics. Today we are going to do some questions of continuity. First of all, what is continuity? Continuity. Let y equal fx be the given function and x equal a be a point. Then the function fx is said to be continuous at x equal a if the following three conditions are satisfied. The value of x fx at x equal to a exists. Means if x equal to a putting in the value in given function, it will exist. Second condition, limiting value of fx in terms of x tends to a exists. If value of fx at x equal to a and limiting value of fx at x equal to a will be equal. Then these three conditions, if satisfied, then we can say given function fx is continuous. If any one of the above three conditions be not satisfied, among these three conditions, if one also not satisfied, suppose first condition not satisfied, then we can't say fx is continuous. Then fx will be discontinuous. Or if second condition not satisfied, then fx is discontinuous. If third condition not satisfied, then fx is discontinuous at the point. Thus, a function fx is continuous at x equal a if limiting value of x tends to a fx, that is left hand limit of x tends to a fx and right hand limit of x tends to a fx equal to f a, then the function will be continuous at that point. Now we have fun continuity. Examine the continuity of the function at the given points. First question fx equal to x squared plus 4 at x equal to 3. First condition, when x equal to 3, then f3 equal to 3 squared plus 4, 9 plus 4, 13, which exists. Second condition, limit x tends to 3 fx equal to limit x tends to 3 fx means what? x squared plus 4. Now putting the value, x means 3 squared plus 4, that is 13, which exists. Third condition, this limit x tends to 3 fx equal to 13, we got. And f3 also we got what 13 means it is same values. So limiting this limit x tends to fx equal to f3 equal because both are getting 13 13 values. Since all the three conditions are satisfied, hence the given function fx is continuous at x equal to 3. If one of the conditions also not satisfied, then we can say given function is discontinuous. Here all three conditions are satisfied, so given function fx is continuous at x equal to what 3. Now second question. Now second question is fx equal to x square minus 16 by x minus 4 at x equal to 4. First condition. When x equal to 4, f4 equal to 4 square minus 16 by 4 minus 4. That is 16 minus 16, 0, 4 minus 4, 0, which is indeterminate form. That is first condition is not satisfied. Second condition, limit x tends to 4, fx equal to limit x tends to 4, x square minus 16 by x minus 4. X square minus 16 means 4 square x square minus 4 square means x minus 4, x plus 4, this cancel, x plus 4 remaining, now in place of x we can put 4, 4 plus 4, 8. Now first condition is indeterminate and second condition is 8 getting, so third condition, limit x tends to 4, fx is not equal to f4, hence fx is discontinuous at x equal to 4. Question number 2, are the functions are continuous at the given points, fx equal to x square minus 2x by x minus 2 and x is not not equal to 2 f x equal to 2 at x equal to 2 and at x equal to 2 first condition when x equal to 2 f2 equal to 2 which exists second condition limit x tends to 2 f x equal to limit x tends to 2 x square minus 2 x by x minus 2 which is 0 by 0 form if you put x equal to 2 here 4 minus 4 by 2 minus 2 that is 0 by 0 so we can take common here x, remaining is x minus 2, x minus 2 and x minus 2 cancel and at last x remaining is x and in place of x we can put 2, so answer is 2, which exists. Third condition, here, here, limit x tends to 2, fx equal to 2, f2 equal to 2, means both are getting same answer. So limit x tends to 2, fx equal to f2, therefore fx is continuous at x equal to 2 since all three conditions are satisfied. Question number two, second questions. 
fx value x square minus 4x by x minus 4 at x is not equal to 1 fx of 3 at x equal to 1 and x equal to 4 first condition when x equal to 1 f1 equal to 3 which I just second condition limit x tends to 1 fx equal to limit x tends to 1 f this this is 0 by 2 form take x common then x remaining here 4 x minus 4 x minus 4 cancel only x many in place of x we can put 1 then answer is 1 which at this third condition here limit x tends to 1 fx this answer is 1 and f1 equal to 3 this answer this values are different means limiting value is 1 and f1 equal to 3 these two values are different so limit x tends to 1 fx is not equal to f1 so third condition is not at this which does not exist which does not exist means the function fx is discontinuous at x equal to 1 because third condition is not satisfied now third question fx equal to 2x plus 1 for x is less than 2 fx equal to 4 5 for x equal to 2 fx equal to 3x minus 1 for x is greater than 2 now when x equal to 2, f2 equal to 5. First condition is satisfied. Left hand limit at x equal to 2. This type of question we should do left hand limit and right, right hand limit. Left hand limit at x equal to 2 is limit x tends to 2 um, fx. That is left hand limit denoted by power minus. Limit x tends to 2 minus that is fx equal limit x tends to 2. That is left hand limit less, less than 2 is 2x plus 1. Now putting the value in place of x by 2, then 2 into 2 plus 1, that is 5. Right hand limit at x equal to 2 is limit x tends to 2 plus fx. That is right hand limit, this is left hand limit. Left hand limit represented by minus, right hand limit represented by plus fx. Limit x tends to 2 plus, right hand x is greater than 2 means 2, 3x minus 1. Now in place of 2, putting the value of x equal to 2, answer is 5. Here, this answer and this answer same. So left hand limit of fx equal to right hand limit of fx equal to and f2 equal to 5. All three answers are matching. Therefore, fx is continuous at x equal to 2. Question fx equal to 2x square plus 3 for x is less than or equal to 1. That means when x equal to 1 also this, when x is less than or equal to 1 also this. 4x plus 1 for x is greater than 1. For left hand limit at x equal to 1, for x is less than 1 fx equal to this. Therefore, left hand limit at x equal to 1 is limit x tends to 1 fx equal limit x tends to 1 that is left hand limit is 2x square plus 3 putting the value x equal to 1 then we will get 5 that is left hand limit power minus which left hand limit. Similarly for right hand limit at x equal to 1 x is greater than 1 fx equal to 4x plus 1. Therefore, right hand limit at x equal to 1 is limit x tends to 1 right hand limit fx equal to limit x tends to 1 right hand limit for x plus 1 4 into 1 plus 1 5 value of fx at x equal 1 for x equal 1 fx is 2x square plus 3 therefore f1 equal to 2 into 1 plus 3 that is 5 since limit left hand limit of fx equal to right hand limit of fx equal to f1 because all three values are same hence fx is continuous at x equal to 1 fx equal to 2x plus 1 for x is less than 1, fx equal to 2 for x equal to 1, fx equal to 3x for x is greater than 1. Means for x is less than 1, fx equal to 2x plus 1. That is left hand limit at x equal to 1 is this value. Limit, left hand limit of fx equal to left hand limit of 2x plus 1. 2 into 1 plus 1, that is 3. Now right hand limit at x equal to 1 is x right hand limit with this 3x. Right hand limit of x tends to 1, fx equal to limit, x tends to 1, 3x. 3 into 1, 3. Plus with right hand limit, minus with left hand limit. For x equal to 1, for x equal to 1, fx equal to almost given 2. For x equal to fx equal to 2, value of fx at x equal to 1 is f1 equal to 2. Here, left hand limit of fx equal to left hand limit of right hand limit of fx, but not equal to the value of fx f1 because this year 2 year 3 year 3 this is different so hence fx is discontinuous at x equal to 1 
find the value of k if the given function is continuous. Here fx equal x square minus 3x by 2x minus 6 for x is not equal to 3. fx equal to 3k for x equal to 3 is continuous at x equal to 2. When x equal to 3, f3 equal to k. f3 equal to k. Limit x tends to 3, fx equal to limit x tends to 3. If you take x common, then x, x remaining, here 3 remaining. x minus 3, x minus 3 cut. If you put the value of x3 here, 3 by 2. But this function is continuous. So for continuity at x equal to 3, limit x tends to 3, fx will be equal to f3. Then only function will be continuous. But this value is given here. Uh, we have taken out 3 by 2. This value is k. So therefore k equal to 3 by 2. Now one more question. fx equal to 2x square minus 50 by... Second question. fx equal to 2x square minus 50 by x minus 5 for x is not equal to 5 fx of k for x is equal to 5 is continuous at x equal to 5. When x equal to 5, f5 equal to k. First condition satisfied. Limit x tends to 5, fx equal to limit x tends to 5. This. Taking 2 common, then x square minus 25. 25 is 5 square, so a square minus b square, a minus b, a plus b, x minus 5, x plus 5. Down and up and numerator and x minus 5 you can cancel. Remaining is 2 bracket x plus 5. In place of x, we can substitute 5. So 2 bracket 5 plus 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 to the 20. Now for continuity at x equal to 5, limiting value will be equal. Limit x tends to 5, fx equal to f5. This means 20 and this means k. Therefore, k equal to 20. Now, I believe after learning these questions, you can easily solve the board exam questions. If, if any problem, you can write in comment box in my channel. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share this video in that is Maharjan Academy of Mathematics. Thank you. Goodbye.